things. And that's right. That's right. It's so important. You know, that's what that's what we're finding. There's so many people who just, you know, we want to make sure everybody has the right information. And it's, and, and just to remind people that it's you have the power, right? It's you have the power. And and why would you not when it can save your life and people you know? Um, I was just at another 
location. I said, you know, this is really an extension of what we say about love thy neighbor, right? Because you're doing it for yourself, but, but also for your community. You're doing it for people you may never meet, people who may never know your name. But because of the leadership and the initiative you've taken, it's literally going to be about saving lives. And it's, it, the vaccine is safe. It, you know, some people say, oh, I don't know, because it just seems like they just came up with that vaccine. Well, no, actually, and this is why it's important to have all the accurate information out there. The vaccinations are the, 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 the end result of decades of research that went into it, right? And some people say, well, I don't know, I don't, I don't have the money to pay for it. No, they're free. And then part of what we're doing also to make sure that we deal with some of the other barriers is we're making sure that there's free childcare available for people who work and have children and are concerned they can't get to go to get the vaccine because they don't have childcare, somebody to take care of their children. And we're also making sure that there's free childcare for folks who, if you know, the day after you get the vaccine, you feel a little under the weather, and if you need help with childcare, that too. We've been encouraging employers to say, give people paid leave, paid time off to go get the vaccine. We've also, Uber and Lyft have agreed to give free rides to people. You know about that? Did you get one? No. But yeah, but see, so that some people, not, you know, not everybody has a car. Not everybody has access to public transportation near where they live, right, or where they go to work. So these are some of the things we're doing to break down the barriers. But I'm here in Greenville because there, there, there are a good number of people in Greenville, South Carolina, who haven't said they're not going to get it, but haven't yet made the decision to get the vaccine. And so one of the most effective ways again, as an extension of love thy neighbor, one of the most effective ways to really talk with people is to have, is to talk, you know, over the fence, literally or figuratively, with the neighbors, right? And so that's about the work all of you are doing, to talk with your family members and your friends and your coworkers, and just remind them this is about saving life. And if you think about it, remember what it was like a year ago? And so many people have suffered so much loss of life and jobs. And now we're turning the corner and things are opening back up. Kids are able to go back to school in person. Grandparents can hug their grandchildren, right? Small businesses are opening back up. But the way we're really going to be able to make that all happen is we got to make sure the largest number of people possible get the vaccine so that we slow down and then stop this thing from spreading. So I'm here on behalf of President Joe Biden and myself to say thank you for your leadership. And we encourage you to keep on talking with folks. And let's make sure we all say, hey, as a country, it is a good thing for us. We love our country. We're proud of our country. Let's roll up our sleeves and get the shot. There you are. Thank you all. I also want to thank, and I want to thank, and I, this is, and I want to thank Ross Brewer of Walgreens for all that you have been doing as a great partner to us in this effort. Thank you, Ross. Thank you.